Last year, former tennis coach John Walter Cattle was found guilty of sexually abusing two girls at the Forest Tennis Club in the 1980s. Today, the women, who want to remain anonymous, released a public statement for the first time. They're calling on the club to sign up to the National Redress Scheme, set up in response to the Royal Commission into Institutional Responses to Child Sexual Abuse. Forest Tennis Club, despite knowing that crimes were committed on their premises more than 30 years ago, and despite a criminal conviction of their contracted coach, has failed to demonstrate any accountability or responsibility. This abuse, which began 38 years ago and culminated in a two-year criminal trial, has taken a significant physical, emotional and financial toll on both of us. Despite several years where they could have come forward, the Forest Tennis Club has failed to recognise the club's institutional accountability for the abuse or to evidence that they've taken any reasonable steps to ensure such abuse doesn't happen again. Forest Tennis Club was named and shamed earlier this year for failing to sign up to the scheme. At the time, Federal Minister Anne Rustin said the club would no longer be eligible to apply for Commonwealth grant funding and is at risk of losing its charitable status. The ACT Victims of Crime Commissioner wants the club to publicly acknowledge the abuse. This hasn't been acknowledged either publicly or even privately to the victim survivors, uh, despite um, the clear outcome of a two-year trial. In a statement to the ABC, the Forest Tennis Club said it had not ruled out joining the scheme and is working to better understand the process and implications of signing up. Isaac Naruzi, ABC News, Canberra.